Late that night, as Partia marched around the town, he came across an old man with some wise words to share. A veteran of many wars, he had this to say. My Sultan, I understand that you must grieve for the allies and friends that you have lost in the many wars you have fought. But never forget that each and every one of them was a warrior who knew the risks that battles always have, and yet even still they followed you. They saw what kind of world that you are trying to build. They saw it as something that was truly worth fighting for and, if need be, dying for. And so, my Sultan, it is all right to mourn them and weep for their loss, but never regret that they died fighting for the dream that you believe in. For that would be same as saying that they died for nothing and that their sacrifices were worthless. Instead of regret, you must honor them by seeing it through to the end. And when history books are written of this age, they will speak of these great people who gave everything for the better world that you strive for. Make it so that their deaths were ones of honor, and that they ushered in a golden age that none had seen before. Do that, and when it comes time for you to join them in the afterlife, you can look at them with your head held high and say that because of them, the war was won, and a better world was built. Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another chapter of the Adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. With not much more than a bruised ego, Partia al Eat prepares to march out from Nagrent. Not straight north to the bandit camps that need cleansing, but south to Galand and perhaps some rest. Hubris can lead to death, and our hero is fortunate that his failing came at the hand of some lowly brigand, and not at the cost of liberty for all people. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. Truly an interesting turn of events that last session, but it is what it is. A lesson has been learned, and from that we shall move forward. Well, first we must move southward to Galland, and then we return to these hideouts to clean this land of this filth. Once and for all, I mean, being struck down will surely agitate anyone. <laughs> so first, though, we do head down to Galen. We will heal up a little bit, and as some of you have suggested, we will actually try and smith down over here at Galen as well, uh, because, again, resting will allow us to heal up quickly. I was sort of uh, bouncing back and forth between a couple of options, one being this, what we're actually going to do, and the other being traveling further down south and maybe shifting some soldiers around and, and managing our garrison a little bit here and there, but I realized that Getting our health up to 100% is not going to take that long, so instead we do this. Over at Galand, uh, we're going to very quickly take a look at any recruitment options that are worth doing. None. We're going to take a look at any trade that might be worth doing. Maybe a little bit of money to be made. Yes, absolutely. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a bunch of junk we can drop off over here. Oh, wow, you're, you're absolutely junk as well, buddy. Get rid of all of this nonsense here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves uh, rid of some of this garbage that we're carrying around as well. Not too much of it. We've done a pretty good job of cleaning up most of the, uh, you know, useless things that we've been carrying around, so I'm pretty good about that. Uh, but of course, there's there's always more junk in our metaphorical or theoretical trunk, as it were. What? How did I miss these uh, tattered headcloths earlier? Uh, but let's also leave behind some of the lower tier melee weapons, I think. Let's just drop off some of these pitchforks. I don't think we're ever going to be using those, or the wooden hammers, the iron pitchforks. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of junk we can dump. For sure, we don't need all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, so the plan today, as I do this, is to uh, do a little bit of smithing here at Galland, then turn back up north, clean out those hideouts, and then, as many of you have suggested, I just want to make sure I didn't give up my Volandian... Uh, Lance by mistake. No, 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 I've got it here. Okay, cool. Um, where was I? Right, so I want to uh, smith at Galland, head up north, take care of those uh, hideouts, and then quite possibly help Aldhan take Ox Hall. Because, again, as many of you pointed out in the comments, it seems like it's not really something you can trust the AI with. You can't really uh, leave them be as far as... Uh, as far as acquiring cities is concerned, sometimes they are very, um... Uh, very bad at it, is I think the, the, the best way to put it. They're, they're just not... They're just not very smart when it comes to, uh, to picking up cities, at least. Apparently castles they don't have as much trouble with, but cities they seem to struggle with. So, hopefully, as we're clearing out the uh, bandit camps, 
um, we'll see the uh, we'll see Ox Hall fall. But if not, then we'll go ahead and take care of it ourselves. Beyond that, I saw many of you comment on the uh, war against the Western Empire, and much to my surprise, in all honesty, much to my surprise, most of you are actually against the idea of war uh, with the Western Empire right now. So, okay, fair enough. Uh, by and large, that was uh, that was the consensus. Uh, in fact, most of you were suggesting that instead we head back down south and continue to work on the work we were doing before this peace came to an unfortunate end. Well, I call it unfortunate, but really I'm quite happy that it happened because it is uh, ultimately working out for our benefit. But, uh, but yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Um, I think what I need to do is I just need to, I need to let go. I need to let go of all the soldiers that I've got in my garrisons that have been serving us well. I need to go ahead and drop them off at, for example, um, you know, Hassan Falk. You know, I, I, I need to strengthen those uh, frontier towns. And then eventually, again, as many of you have been suggesting, maybe we actually go to war with the Khazade again rather than the Western Empire, potentially, as we were talking about last session, dragging the Batanians and the Western Empire into war against the Khazade. I think our actual biggest threat right now are the Batanians. In fact, let's just take a quick peek over here. Uh, ignore this for now. We're probably going to turn down the uh, the request for war. It, it is funny, though. It's like... So, so many times we talk about how, like, oh, you know, we should do what our council asks us to do. Council, in this case, being, you know, the game. We should do what our lords ask us to do. Otherwise, what differentiates us from Enkid? But then, when the convenient thing to do is to ignore them, that's when we're all on the same page. Sometimes, because of how, you know, the AI works and stuff, they're worth ignoring. Uh, these guys are still taking payments. But yeah, let's take a look down over here. The Batanians versus the Kazate. Oh, I guess the Kazate are still more numerous. It just feels like the Batanians are a bigger threat, but I suppose not. I suppose not. Nonetheless, done there. Let's go ahead and rest at Galand just until we're at 100% health or until... Um, well, the next payment comes first, at least. Uh, until the next payment comes. Because then we can smith, and then we can move up for those uh, those hideouts. And again, Oxhall is still under siege. There's our daily gold change. That should be enough for our, uh, for our smithing, I, I hope. 75%. We could do a little bit longer. All right, let's, uh, a little bit longer. We're here for some time more. Wait until noon, perhaps. Until the sun is directly up above us. Stop waiting there. Dying of old age. We're all good. We're all good. Nothing. Nothing too troubling over here. Okay. Smithy, sorry. And actually, I should check as well. Nah, nobody to recruit. I could check the tavern district too. The landing arm trader. Not really worth it. Over to the smithy. Rather, my apologies. How much fine steel do we have for? Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and get for myself the. Um, steel maker 2. Character can refine two units of steel into one unit of fine steel and one unit of crude iron as byproduct. Sure. Steel maker 2 I think makes more sense than Curious Smith over here. Go for it. We need that more often. We've been learning enough parts. I think we have learned, in fact, enough parts that we can kind of just move, you know, move on from that being a, a, a focus of ours. Uh, but with that said, over to the smithy. We will start with... You know what? Why not? Yeah, let's start with me refining... And fine steel so charcoal and steel wow we need some charcoal eh all right in that case let's go ahead and get uh temen iron eye over here making some charcoal gain his skill points like that sure uh then let's go ahead and get myself we're actually very low on charcoal we're actually quite low on charcoal maybe our surgeon here actually hold on a second doesn't hold on a second okay we're good because Fridina here is able to turn two hardwood into three charcoal, so definitely want to use her talent there. Beautiful. Now we're good. Back to me. Let's get some of that fine steel happening. We have plenty of steel. Really not concerned about that. Plenty of steel. Go for it. And, yeah, let's tire myself out just making fine steel, because that means that um, Leotold over here is able to forge two-handed sword. Ooh fancy looking piece of equipment but no that's not what I want I want a war razor blade max size get ourselves a nice looks fancy Ooh, that looks very fancy actually does that impact damage positively two-handed sword right yeah 
45, 1, 2, 4. Oh, look at the, look at the difference. Look at the, uh, the way it shifts. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You know what? I kind of like, I kind of like some of these quite a bit. Western Crescent Guard 46 and 120 versus 45 and 124. Ah, I like this. Let's do it. Let's do it. And over here, let's go ahead and... Which one was it again? You give us up to 127. You get us up to 126. 125. All right, let's go with this one for the 127 swing cut damage. And then, of course, the pommel that I like so much. This one. Yeah. Dude. There we go. I should probably get one of these swords for myself. Or for, like, my uh, companions or something. They're, they're a decent piece of equipment. For that shine. Um, Two-handed sword. Two-handed sword. I always get nervous about that. What an unwieldy looking sword, though. Leotold, let's get to work here, buddy. Forge away. Oh. I feel like this has been, like, reworked a little bit. Mer Whoa. Merchant's blade. The merchant's blades. Okay, done. Um, yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like how things are calculated has been reworked a little bit. But, uh, what I want to touch on as well, by the way, is obviously the reason why we're smithing is because should we come across another particularly wealthy, um, why is he not losing any stamina? Oh, it's just not showing here. Oh, weird. It shows here, but it doesn't show here. Ah, fair enough. As long as it's, you know, happened. Um, but yeah, so, uh, if we, if we, if we come across another wealthy, um, another wealthy caravan, I want to make sure I have something to trade with them. Uh, if we come across particularly wealthy cities, I want to make sure we have something to trade with them. Uh, so yeah, that's why I want to make sure we get the smithing done. And plus, we have to rest anyway to heal up. Uh, we could have probably been a bit more aggressive, but it's not a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea. Now I forget, this goes up to 110, this goes up to 105. So we're going to go ahead with this. Nothing down over here. Oh yeah, nothing down over here. Cool. Now these aren't going to be the best quality, but I'll take what I can get. Go ahead and forge away. We're max size. Yeah, this is javelin shaft. I just want to check again. This goes up to 105. Yeah, this goes up to 110. Okay, so this 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 should be better. I mean, if, if, if it's produced by someone who's capable of producing them, this should work better. Forge away, Garotheon. This is the merchant's bane. There you go. Done. A couple more of these. There we go. Done with you. And then Alia. Go ahead and work up your skill a little bit. Oh, Garatheon earned his skill level as well. Okay. Done. Done. That's so weird. Hers is showing, but the others didn't. Unlocking a lot of parts and stuff as well. I mean, like I said, I don't think I needed to get the cur curious um, smith option for myself. But I do want to get a look at <laughs> this just keeps coming. How much these are worth? Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. 115,000, 93,000, 85,000. That's not bad at all. Cool. And what about our Merchant Spains here? 121. Oh, wow. We're on a roll today. These guys are all extremely expensive. Look at that. 121.753. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Some of the cheaper ones from earlier. But yeah, if we come across a wealthy caravan then we will become the wealthy car caravan. 1.23 million. I think that's the most money we've ever had uh, all at once. Um, maybe. By the way, I want to touch on something as we leave Galend and make our way towards the hideouts. And I guess I could rest here for another full cycle and get even more stuff to trade. I, I don't want to move too slowly because the slower we move, the longer it takes for Ox Hall to fall. That's why I don't want to, like be too cautious. Yeah, you know what, fine. Let's 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 rest here once more. Fair enough. Wait for some time. I'll wait until 100% health or another payday, whichever comes first. Uh, as we do that, though, I want to touch on the um, situation at Pravend. Uh, many of you... I oh, just want to check on the situation here. We are okay. Looks like some good work being done over here against the Southern Empire. Excellent, excellent. Um, so many of you pointed out in the comments that... Oh dear, the Batanians are taking a beating, it looks like. It looks like the Batanians and the Kazate are at war again. Oh, man. Do we even wait until we strengthen the frontier here? Do we just take advantage of the circumstances? No, 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 no. I'm going to stick with the original plan to strengthen our frontier first. 
Um, but yes, on that very same note, uh, many of you were talking about uh, or asking about or curious about or uh, providing suggestions about what happened at Pravend in terms of who we gave Pravend to and the fact that uh, that faction, that clan, is uh, nearly dead. There's really no other way to put it. If we take a quick look over here at our uh, kingdom, if we take a look at our... Right. I guess we're saying no. Look at that. Oh, everybody supports it. Everybody supports it. But uh, but we're gonna say no because uh, that was the call from the uh, from our from our outside council, not from the in-game council. But very well, we oppose a declaration of war. So oh, every like everybody wants to see this war happen. A lot of uh, influence being spent there, but. Um, but yeah, so as we look at this screen over here, you'll see that, um, what is his name? What is his name? Wazid, there we go. Uh, he's the only one in Banu Karaz. And, uh, and, and so many of you express the concern that once he dies, Pravind ends up back in my, uh, purview and I have to take care of it again. Uh, now the thing is, the reason why I hand things off at Frontiers, first of all, uh, is so that somebody else can strengthen it. I've seen many of you suggest as well that I should just, uh, um... I should take all the cities for myself and only give out castles. The reason why I don't want to do that is because we want to make sure that um, even the cities are well defended. Again, just as a reminder, if I hold something, nobody else will donate troops to it. If one of my vassals holds something, then everybody else will also donate troops to it. Which is, of course, quite, quite the benefit because it... Um, it, it, it more quickly strengthens the garrison. So, taking something right away and needing to increase the garrison can be quite a uh, quite a pain, uh, quite a, quite a chore even. But if I hand it off to somebody else and they do all the work, they and everybody else again, because everybody's involved when it's not my holding. If they and everybody else do all the work in getting the uh, the garrison set up and everything. And then I have to take care of it after they pass or after the clan has been eliminated. Uh, that's not as bad. We get all the tax money. We also get um, the benefit of the garrison that's already been built up. Oh, are you serious? That's a lot of refined steel. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. I mean, obviously, I would I would like to distribute the uh, the 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 land in a way that I don't have to take care of everything all the time, but. At that time, last session, my hope was that by giving it to Gazid, uh, we wouldn't see the, the the siege of Ox Hall come to an end. And if I recall correctly, it did anyway. So what are you going to do? Um, I hoped for something. It didn't work out that way. Such is life. Now, with that said, uh, I don't want to like dismiss all of the suggestions of like, no, I should give it to people, give it to clans that have more numbers and that will actually maintain control for longer. Totally agree. I'm not I'm not disagreeing there. I'm just explaining where my oh, merchants blades. I'm just explaining where my kind of thinking comes from and why I don't mind doing what I did that time so much. Because um, yeah, it, it it works out. It's not not it's not the end of the world. Uh, as I as I often can be quoted as saying. But I, I think for me the bigger. Uh, deal there with those frontier settlements was that when war with the Batanians comes, I want to make sure that we are we have a secure front line. I want to make sure that we're not worrying about um, that we're not worrying about uh, you know, weak garrisons because we were in charge and we weren't able to strengthen the garrison with, with decent troops in time or anything like that. I want to make sure that it all belongs to somebody else. They take care of it. They continue to take care of it. And uh, when war inevitably comes against the Batanians, we're, you know, safe, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, we're good here, we're good here, we're good here. Javelin, yeah, everything's good. Because uh, otherwise, we'll lose everything we've uh, we fought to gain, right? If, if I'm in charge of both frontiers at all times, uh, it's going to be very uh, unfortunate for us. Javelin, yeah, we're good, we're good. Good. Sorry, I, I, it's like I just want to make 100% sure before I make a silly mistake over here and forge the wrong piece of equipment and end up with a bunch of wasted time. Alia, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and keep working. We'll, we'll actually need to buy hardwood soon. If we're gonna head north, then it'll be cheap to buy, so that's good. 
rather head north. We are north. It'll be pretty cheap for us to buy. All right, this was a good smithing session. I don't think we'll have to smith again for a while now, hopefully. Hopefully those were all worth a fair bit. And we're only at 64% health. I'm not going to rest any longer, though. I'm not going to rest any longer. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. I'd say that was pretty good. Not as good that second time around. But pretty good. What about the uh, Merchant's Banes? Oh, yeah, look at that. These things are... Oh, my God. We're going to be filthy rich. We're going to be filthy rich. Done here. Done here. I'm done waiting. We can, we can move on. We can move on. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that explains my, my thinking up, uh, up here. Uh, I'm not saying it's, like, it, it's one of those things which is like, it's fine. You know, it's, it's fine. I would much rather have a long lasting, a long living, <gasps> there you have it. Ox Hall is taken. God, that feels good. That's great. That worked out perfectly. I didn't have to get involved. They did all the work. Uh, 312 wounded. They were an army of, what, about a 1,000 or so strong, weren't they? So now they've ended up with 700 once all the wounded are healed. Or around 700. 700 means what? They lost about 300, maybe 300, maybe 400, if I'm remembering the numbers right. Not terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible. Sorry. Meant to go here. 115 men. 97, 98, 194... Yeah, these numbers are alright. I mean, some of these guys obviously took more losses than others. These numbers are okay, though. They're not, uh, they're not terrible. Ah, fantastic. Fan-tastic. Shouldn't have spent on cohesion because I can always just call Ottawa back in if this army falls apart, but too late for that. Um, I will need to... Keep forgetting that Kuzate is, uh... Uh, Kareth is Kuzate now. Uh, I will need to... And Ox Hall to somebody else. The thing about uh, this as well is that Guzid, if I recall correctly, actually helped us take um, Pravend. It feels kind of bad to not... To, to reward somebody else with it, you know? <laughs> that feels kind of bad to do. Anyways, all that all that talk aside, that's it. Again, just to explain where my head's at. And again, just to be clear, I'm not saying uh, don't give me this feedback or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just... Uh, it's a conversation. Conversations involve uh, a back and forth. So I'm just letting you know where my head's at and why it is where it is. All right, let's go ahead and can we... I don't think we'll be able to chase any of these Sea Raiders. Some of y'all have been suggesting we can just let Ottawa kind of run forward, which uh, maybe not a bad idea, even though I just spent a little bit of influence on the cohesion. Go for it. Hopefully she doesn't get pulled into a different army. That would suck. That would suck. But we should both be a little bit faster now. Oh, come on now. Come on, we'll catch somebody. We'll catch somebody. Hopefully. There's so many of them. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. The Landings have been taken prisoner by Dorian the Scholar. Good stuff. That dude's been fighting solo, eh? Go up this way. And come down over here, trap anybody down here. Nah, they'll be able to escape from down over here, won't they? See Ottawa chasing up over there, the 13. I want to chase after these guys. My speed is 4.7, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.8, 4.8. Are you kidding me? Come on. Might as well call Ottawa over before she does get drawn elsewhere and surrounded or something unfortunate like that. That would be really, that would be really upsetting. Let's, okay. If I can catch all these guys, it'd be a pretty interesting engagement. Oh. Nice. <laughs> interesting engagement. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Uh, you best let us be. There's dozens more of us hiding here, just waiting for our signal. Nice try, Brigand. Surrender or die. I will have my vengeance. I will have my vengeance. Now right, we're good here. Let's go ahead and make sure we are properly equipped. We are indeed. Valdim has proven to be quite the worthy ally once more. Um, just using him two-handed off the back of a horse has been quite good. Go ahead and attack. 87 of them. They should be fun. Yeah, they should be fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll dive into the hideouts, take care of them, clean them up finally. They've been there for so very long. It's about time that we clean them up, I think. About time. But yeah, this, uh, this should be pretty easy. I mean, we have to be careful. Obviously, they've got the javelins and stuff like that. We just have to be careful, but we've got... Our, our range contingent is so, so much more capable. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Alright, do we have decent terrain over here? Mm, it's okay. Make sure you guys have your 
Shields up. Archers, let's move you up over there, please. Move our other archers up over here as well. These guys up there. Go. Cavalry and horse archers can stay behind. Might not be a bad idea. Alright. Make sure these guys are in loose formation. Gonna make their way up and over. Sharpshooters are already getting shots in from up over here. Are you kidding me? Wild. Alright. Keep at it. Keep at it. Cavalry will send up over here. And then we can level them up when these guys are retreating. We can uh, level up our cavalry as well. I love that little flourish there. I'm getting the shooting in. Good stuff, good stuff. Shields are up. Look at those javelins coming through, though. Look at those javelins coming through. A couple of wounds here. Firing away, firing away. Keep at it, keep at it. These guys back. Cavalry pushed through. These guys kind of got sent to their dooms there, didn't they? Sergeant, front line is engaged as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Wonderfully done, men, wonderfully done. We can get a little bit of practice in as well. Whoop. This is why we practice. Oh man. Gotta get back in the uh back in the zone here. I think we're doing alright. I should Yeah, I think we're doing okay. The cavalry charges getting everything up over here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Back over here. See if we can't hit this guy. There we go, there we go. Just gotta get into the habit of its, like, length and stuff. The ideal kind of position to be when I swing it. <laughs> like that. Right in the head. Good stuff. I think we got a fair bit of training in there, actually. Infantry could have got some more work done. But, uh, but overall, I think we did okay. I think we did okay there. A bit of training for our archers, I hope. Oh, you know what? 31 leveled up. That's pretty good. Eight died, unfortunately. We lost some trained infantrymen, some recruits, some infantrymen, some looters, a sea raider chief. Ironic. Lanian footman. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. 30, 31 leveled up, though. That's pretty good. In fact, I do kind of want to see master archers, Ferris, caravan guard, Fian Fian champions. Those champions, man. They are truly champions. All right. Okay. Good, yeah. Front line did get a little bit of work done. Good stuff. More than I'd uh, than I thought. Those hardened crossbows, man. I cannot wait to have just a huge lineup of just uh, beyond champions and uh, and sharpshooters. So good. Pick up these troops. Three peasants. They're not really worth picking up. I don't even have room for them, do I? No, I guess I do now. Three oh nine. Nah, nah, nah. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Uh, a couple of sea raider chiefs we could pick up, I suppose. I could get some more sea raiders. Not a terrible idea. I've got room for prisoners, for sure. I actually want to pick some of these guys up now, though. Let's get you guys. We had a chief. I just added one of Valandian spearmen. Sure. Levy crossbowmen. Sure. Swordsmen. Infantry. Yep. Yeah. Making more room for prisoners. Making this a bit faster. That's 318. Okay. Let's, sure, go ahead and pick up all these prisoners. Well, not all of them. The Sea Raiders and the Sea Raider Warriors. Fine. We have we have plenty of wiggle room there. Done here. Yeah, y'all can go free. Y'all can go free. Pick up all the loot. More junk to sell. Might need to stop looting. <laughs> we just have so much stuff. We just have so much stuff. All right, over to well, Alia's making her way over to us. Sorry, Alia, Arwa's making her way over to us. Uh, we can make our way down to this hideout once more. Eighty-one percent health is, I think, good enough. I think it's good enough down here. The only downside is that it is uh, the middle of the day, so we will lose some time. And I also want to take a look at owner of Oxhall. Give it to Lek. Let's give it to Lek. He's got all the support. He's uh, a bigger clan. You know, they've got they've got numbers. Uh, as many of you have pointed out, he's probably the right call. Abolitos. I mean, you might get something next, I suppose. We've got a lot of people calling for uh, Lek to get uh, get this holding. Oh, sure. The lordship of this fief should go to the Vegaroving. Make sure I got the right thing selected there. Done. 
Hopefully they will take care of it now and actually hold on to it. Ah. <laughs> very hopefully. Very hopefully. Uh, but I, I wanted to check... Um, not Ox Hall. I wanted to check, I wanted to check... Um, Proven. Proven, 90 defenders, okay. And Ox Hall, zero right now, but hopefully they'll be strengthening it up. We could take a look as well at our opportunity for peace here. Obviously the numbers drop down because they're not under threat right now. And I guess they also managed to inflict quite a few casualties during that assault, but they're not under direct threat right now, so they feel like they'll be able to get away with uh, with not offering as much money. They're also not making a lot of money, uh, which is probably why they're thinking they want to um, they want to not sue for peace because they have no money to spend. Uh, if I can go ahead and convince some of their nobles to join us, that would be fantastic. Um, quite a few. Oh man, these guys were completely destroyed, eh? Uh, they do still have three plans to chase down. Well, two that are worth that that can be chased down rather. But it would be nice to get them to join our side of uh, of the future, as it were. Hopefully. But for now, we crush bandits over to this hideout. We will wait until nightfall to attack. Yes, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Again, we we were. Ooh, what's this? The Valandians and the Asari have made peace. Okay, that's not a problem for me. Uh, Askaron of the Northern Empire has been taken prisoner by Hecard of the Ishkas. Okay, can we can we finally end these wars? Receiving 110, receiving 150. That's fine. Like, why don't you die? Just die already. 99 and 100% support, sure. It'll make us a little bit of extra money. Receiving 110, propose this. It is time to make peace. Do it. The Ishkas and the Northern Empire have made peace. Wonderful. It has taken us so long to get here. Now, I could have made some money off of ransoms, potentially, as well. But, um... But I think then we wouldn't make a tribute. And I don't know how long this tribute will last anyway. It's fine, honestly. It's marginal money at this point. It's marginal money at this point. Southern Empire. What was that? Everyone supports it. But no one wants to push it forward. I guess I gotta spend my influence. There's our piece there. Which reminds me, by the way. Um, Renown... It's been so long since I've upped my clan tier that I completely forgot what Renown was in this game, and I was thrown off by uh, Crusader Kings. Renown is what'll tier us up in, in clan tiers. It's been a while since we've tiered up. Uh, it's just because from 5 to 6, I guess, takes a long time, right? We have been fighting, we've been doing a lot of stuff that gains Renown, but it just it takes so much longer. So, uh, yeah, just a clarification. All right, there are our pieces. Now we take this hideout out of the equation. We take this hideout out of the equation, and then we uh, take that one out of the equation, and then we, I guess, head down south. Okay, cool. Let's attack. I will be taking with me... The champions did quite well. I'll be taking with me three champions, and... Not you, not you. Don't, don't give me cavalry for an on-foot job. Three champions, six legionaries, myself... We'll be fine. 91%. We'll, we'll be fine. Again, that last assault, um, I was one or two swings away from uh, from winning. One or two swings away. One or two hits away from winning. Let's not uh, let's not get too uh, too doubtful of our of our capabilities. Uh, I could also, as many of you have suggested, just go ahead and tell everybody to charge in. That way, they'll be uh, side by side with me. Like I can follow them rather than they follow me. And I've been told that the Fian champions know that charging means to fire instead, but evidently that was not the case. Evidently that was not the case. Literally, uh, there was a suggestion that, uh, oh yeah, just tell everyone to charge, and even the uh, ranged units uh, know that they should just go in and, and fire rather than charge into melee. Nope! I guess I gotta tell them to fire at will, and then tell them to charge, because fair enough. There we go. Important little factor there, I suppose. Alright, good stuff. Now the problem is, can I catch up with our men? Yeah, 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 I'll be able to catch up. Good stuff, good stuff, they're doing okay. Why are you going up that way? Ah, oh, don't go up that way. There's this guy right down over here. Oh. These guys are splitting up. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> prefer leading. I prefer leading the direction. Those two champions are going down over there. The guys coming up this way. We'll be fine. Oh, see, we lost the legionary. 
Lost a legionary. Lost another legionary. Alright, I don't like this. <laughs> Needless deaths. Needless deaths. It did not need to happen. Who else did we lose? Damn. Alright. Anything up over here? Oh, there isn't. Actually, is there? Ooh, interesting. What do we have up over here? What do we have up over here? Man, I'm not going to let myself get over the fact that I just lost those two legionaries. That's a bummer. And now we lost a Fian Champion. Because they are still charging. I don't like this. <laughs> Very unhappy with uh, with that end result. Very, very unhappy with that end result. <laughs> we got this. There we go. We're good. And we can duel this fool. I don't fear you, buddy. You got lucky last time. You got lucky. You got lucky. Yeah. Let's do this. Dance. There we go. There it is. Done. That easy. That easy. Get out of here. Get lost. That's upsetting. <laughs> this is why I don't like letting them charge in, because stuff like that happens. This is why I take command and let them follow me. I'll take the damage. I'll live to fight another day. I'll live to die another day. But uh, that's one, one fan champion. We're short now. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We're all good. It's all fine. One more uh, batch of uh, of bandits have been taken care of. Let's celebrate the victory, right? Let's think back upon the uh, the intro there. Do not die for no reason. And we've got some more veteran infantrymen coming up the ranks. And upgrade you guys as well. Should have upgraded them after that last battle. Not not a big difference. Like doesn't make a big difference at all considering what we did between then and now. But just should stay on top of it in case we ever get attacked. Surprised. And don't have the opportunity to uh, upgrade before the battle. Infantry, I think. Yeah, sergeants. Get some sergeants. These are cool. We all know the rule of cool, don't we? Over here. Sergian soldier, I think, is the way to go. Sea Raider warrior would get us the Drosnik champions. Wouldn't mind some of these, like, shock troops and stuff like that. You know what? <sighs> Let's go for the Drizzling Champions. Just a, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Over here we have the Drizzling Champion. Over here we have the Drizzling Champion, except sooner. Well, that's an obvious decision. Go ahead, upgrade over here, upgrade you over here, good stuff. Bunch of prisoners willing to join us as well. We do have some open slots now. Uh, three open slots specifically. We can go ahead and get these looters training. Get these Sturgeon Archers up here and get... Hmm, maybe that's it for now. Maybe that's it for now. We don't need these peasants. Done. Pick up all the loot. Done. Done. Relations increased. Wonderful. I mean, eventually when we're at war with the Batanians, it would be good to have good relations in the area. Uh, now over against these mountain bandits. Hopefully we'll catch them at night. Please don't be too far away. Good. Excellent. We're healthy enough. Attack. Now, Mountain Bandits. What do I want against Mountain Bandits? Hmm. They'll mainly be charging us. I, I said we're going with the same. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, get the Fian Champions, and let's get the Veteran Infantry to fill in the uh, the blanks there. Because the Legionaries are already leveled up. Maybe these Veteran Infantrymen could, could use a little bit of training as we hunt Bandits. Sure. Do it. Mountain Bandits this time around. By the mountains. Who would have thought? Oh, yeah. This will be... This will be... Don't hold your fire. Follow me. All firing. They do have javelins, okay. Come at me. There we go, beautiful. Beautiful. Are these guys up over here? Not that they need training. March up with our men. 
coming from the side, so any shots that come through will, you know, cause damage appropriately, but... Come on. Oh, over my head. In we go. Wow. <laughs> that was a little bit easier than I expected. Hit him in the chest, too. Not even the perfect swing. Got one man over there by the fire. This will be this will be easy. I'm not too concerned. Not too concerned at all. Oh, look at that. I think at least one of those shots hit. Come on, come at me, buddy. Come on. There we go. Good stuff. Train the men, right? Let's train the men. Keep moving up over here. I don't think there's that many of them left. Four of them. Four of them left. Keep your eyes peeled. Don't want any surprises. <laughs> any any jump scares? We got some up over there. Firing. Yeah, getting some shots in over here, I think. I can hear the... Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got dropped. Didn't even see it coming. Love it. Archers up over there. Infantry with me. We're going to cross over. There we go. Now we can send them charging in, maybe. Go forth, men. Men of the Ishkas. Job done here. Come on. There we go. Good stuff. Thought I saw somebody down there. Yeah, you can see our archers, like, pointing them out. <laughs> it's like tracer fire. Alright, good stuff. I'll watch from above. Dude is deaf? Dude is dead. That's what he is. I think there's one more. We can see him over there. Push. Push, push, push. Ah, this guy spotted us. Oh, this guy took a hit there. We're okay. We're okay. There we go. Good stuff. I think that's all of them. And this time, we will not duel. Again, it's training day, right? Training day. Oh, and this man does not have that much backup. You consider yourself a chief? Chief of nothing, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard this conversation before. I don't fight duels with brigands. Or so I say. No, no. Ooh, taking some hits here. Down he goes. Excellent. Good stuff. Fantastic stuff. Well done, man. Well done. Well done. No losses. Three leveled up. That worked out exactly as I wanted it to. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Could have asked for a better follow-up to that previous one. I will take the highwayman. And the brigands as well, perhaps. Yes, the Valandian Banner Knights are definitely worth having. Good stuff. Nobody here willing to join us. That's worth picking up right now. Yeah, we're good. Good. Pick up all the loot as well. And moving on. One more hideout remaining. I don't think we'll be able to reach it tonight. I wonder if I should do... Nah, let's, let's, let's keep at it. Hopefully this will help the... Pro oh my god, look at that. Hopefully this will help the prosperity of the, uh, the, the region. Hopefully. They can keep an eye on all this stuff down over here as well. Seeing what's going on. This hideout is next. And we make our way over. I mean, honestly, I'm thinking of peace with uh, with the Valandians. I don't want to accidentally take uh, Ranarog Castle, honestly. Leave it to somebody else. Leave it to somebody else. In fact, I should check. Another declaration of war on the Western Empire. These guys are hungry for war. Consider making peace, receiving 600 tribute a day. I say we do it. Again, it'll be temporary. It'll be temporary, but... Might as well, right? What are you guys up to? Oh, they disbanded the army. Who else are you at war with? Just us. And a bunch of uh, mercenary groups. Um... Making peace also means these nobles will not be running away from us, so we could actually speak to them and maybe try and convince them to join us. We're able to improve relations. Hmm. Something to think about. Well, let's, let's sue for peace. Let's make that money while we can before they get wiped out, right? Everyone supports it. Time to make peace. Chikas and the Valanians have made peace. Excellent. All these prisoners have been freed. Doesn't upset me. It's okay. We're good. We're getting some tributes here. Good to see these numbers uh, the other way around for once. Uh, but yeah, I believe we are done. 
here. Strike at this hideout. Yeah, let's do it. Why, why, why not, right? Why not? Why leave them waiting? Like, yeah, we'll be sitting outside for a little while as we wait for, uh, for nightfall, but it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. My only concern is this constant demand for war on the Western Empire that will drain my influence. If it costs another 600, more. Every time you deny them, it costs more. So, I don't know if we'll be able to deny them again, unfortunately. Because again, I, I hear the logic in the... Uh... Dorian's becoming very capable here. The Earth of the Lanians declare war on the Batanians. Oh, dude wants to die. Dude wants to die. Uh, I hear the logic in the comments, and I totally agree with it as well, of like strengthening our frontier and whatnot. But of course, I only have so much influence I can um, spare. You know? Continuously saying no to these declarations of war. We could say yes, fight a little bit, take Legetta, maybe. Get a Legetta. Uh, maybe, maybe go for Poros or Zionica so that it opens. Like, what we could do is we could take Poros, make that our stronghold, a very st central stronghold that we keep control of, where we can deposit all of our garrison. Um, and then sue for peace, pay a tribute if we have to, it'll be fine. Uh, but then we can launch our attacks into the Kuzate territories from Poros. I feel like that's an option, either Poros or Diathma. I think I'd prefer Poros because Diathma is also exposed to the Batanians. I feel like that might be the way to go about doing it. Just so that we don't drain all of our influence. We're already at 1100, another 600 spent on this would take us down to... Well, it would put us in a position where we wouldn't be able to say no again. Which uh, is not a position I ever want to be in. So, shouldn't have said no that first time, maybe. But, I guess it's good that we're able to uh, attack the... Um... Sorry. That we're able to attack the uh, the hideouts. Uh, at least there's that, right? Let me over these guys up. We're good. Done. This time, when we attack, let's not take any Fian champions. Let's not take these guys. Let's not take you or you. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and take some of the Valandian swordsmen. We're going to take some of the Valandian veterans. And then we're going to take some Valandian hardened crossbowmen. Because I wouldn't mind them leveling up to sharpshooters. So that would be a better use of, like, these guys can upgrade to sharpshooters, these guys can become uh, sergeants, and these guys can become uh, legionaries, right? So there's a better spread of uh, experience over here. Let's do it. Let's do it. That same map over here, fair enough. Get you guys off of hold fire. Over here. You guys up over here, let's go. Move, let's move, let's move, and we can go in and intercept if necessary. I do want to get familiar with swinging this axe in uh, in closer quarters. I'll take that hit. There we go. Double well done. Move in, let's go. Crossbows, man. Let's go. Beautiful. <laughs> I was like, any second now, any second now. We good. You guys are coming towards us. We go over to the side here. Builds up. Crossbow still firing, not getting any work done, unfortunately. Oh, there we go, a little bit of damage. Nice, nice. Didn't think they got close enough to warrant charging, but... Fair enough. We lost one, unfortunately. Not the end of the world. Uh, let's keep going up this way. Keep going up this way, keep going up this way. Pull you up here. That should do the trick. And then we'll go up this ramp over here, because apparently that's quick access to where they all tend to hide out. So, that's helpful. That's good to know. You guys walking back and forth. Come on now. Yes, fire. Damn. <laughs> move, let's move. Like small squad commands. Oh, I might just charge this guy. I don't think I have the patience for that. <laughs> I don't think I have the patience for, for that. Oh, look at those shots just barely missing. 
Come at me, buddy. There we go. Close that gap. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, how do we get you guys up top over there? Come on. Come on. Why can't I give this order? Follow me. Up we go. Up we go. Again, this will be easy. A little unfortunate that one loss, but it's not the end of the world. At least this time, I am I feel responsible for it, so like... Oh, jeez. Got a few of them. Bit of an opportunity to train here, I think. Come on, man. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. This is a lot of them, actually. Oh. Should have checked their numbers before I came up over here. We're okay, we're okay. Lost one, but uh, wounds, not not a death. We're okay. Oh, this is a this is a pretty tough fight, actually. Well, okay, not a tough fight, but an intense fight, I should say. Not a tough one. <laughs> I don't even left. Oh, that's all of them. All right, good stuff. I think I'm going to take this duel. I'm going to take this duel because uh, we are outnumbered. It is supposed to be training day. It's supposed to be training day. Let, let's do it. I, you know what? Let's do it. I have confidence in my men. I don't fight duels with brigands. Is this hubris about to kick in again? Oh, oh. This is a lot of them. This is a lot of them. Come on now. There we go. Oh, we are taking losses, though. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, we're not okay. We are not okay. That's a lot of them. Should've just taken the duel. I have to, like, time my strikes here. Oh, we're not okay. Down I go. Oh, man, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, I should've, I should've not, uh, I should've just dueled that one. Damn. Gotta, gotta keep taking my knocks every once in a while. Gotta keep taking my knocks every once in a while. We did take some losses there, though. That's rough, man. That's rough. Yikes. Did not uh, expect that kind of a response there. Rest of your men rushed to your help, dragging you out to safety and causing the bandits to go back into hiding. Listen, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find a merchant over here on our way back down south. I mean, at least we've cleaned this area up. Ooh, 28 looters. Head down here. We can't fight it, but we can send our men in. It's so funny that after, like... Uh, a non-stop like string of uh, victories upon victories a bunch of sea raiders are the ones that are able to fell us not once but twice not once but twice all good all good all good all good we win the battles that uh, that matter most <laughs> that's what matters most Wow, that was... We got wildly overwhelmed, though. I should have just gone in for the duel, for sure. Head down to Hongard, and we can come back up to... Uh, come back up to the hideout afterwards. Come on. Come on. There we go. People dying of old age over here. The landings and the battalions have made peace. How long did that war last for? Like, half a day? What did they do? Did they manage to take anything? Did they manage to take anything? The Valandians. Hang on, the Valandians. Nope. That's so weird. That's so weird. Uh, over at Hongard, this place has been raided, unfortunately. Up to Rulund. Look at this. Go ahead and help over here. Help Gazid's party. Send the troops in. No losses. Good stuff, good stuff. Emir Guzid, good to see you here, Partia. Good to see you, Guzid. Getting some work done around your holdings. Can't complain about that. Can't complain about that. Pick up some of these hardened crossbowmen, the landing infantry. Sea raiders, as well as some of the looters, we'll train them up. We have one more slot, but we'll leave it. Symbolic open slot over here. Uh, do we really? I don't... We'll pick up the grain and the fish. Everything else, I don't... I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna... Up over here. Maybe we can sell some stuff. 
We could maybe... No. Nothing worth selling here. We could dump some of the uh, weaker kind of armor and all that crap. Sure. Nope. There we go. You can have some of my scarves. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Have some of my tailored scarves as well. Have some of my fine scarves. I got so many scarves. I got scarves for days. I guess it makes sense for traveling in the north. But I have some scarves up north. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. We are almost done. Here. Cool. Done. Alright. Make our way up to Praven, perhaps. Loop around Praven. Go up through here, back down to the hideout. Wouldn't be terrible. I do have to go back down south, though. Just as a reminder. Look at that. Constant supply of money coming our way. More sea raiders up over here. There are so many of them. There's so many of them. Ah. Uh, there's a declare war decision coming up. Calatilde is the only one who opposes it. This will cost me five... 100 influence, folks. 500 influence. And that'll be it. Then I won't be able to deny them again. And it will come again. It will come again. Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen again. What's the point? Why, why say no again only to have them push for it again? I say we, uh, we, we go for that uh, plan of action that I put forth. We take... Oros or whatever it was, and then push for peace, even if it costs us a tribute, this is a strategic war. It's not about destroying the Western Empire, it's about gaining a foothold from where we can launch the invasion of Khazate territory and where we might distract the Khazate. I say let's do it. I say let's do it. We should be overwhelmingly powerful over here. But we want to make sure that we don't let the Khazate gain too much ground. Because if the Khazate declare war on the Western Empire immediately after we do, and they start gaining ground, then that's just more trouble for us down the line, right? But if I keep saying no, and I keep losing this much influence, then this is the last time I'm saying no, and that's just a waste of influence. So fine. Okai, Buzid, Tovir, Lek, Abilitos, Aldhan, Hecard, everybody is getting very agitated about all this peace, I suppose. And so we fight. We got another war. Artia of the Ashkas declares war on the Western Empire. They're stubborn like me. Stubborn like I was about uh, how, we, how we dealt with that previous uh, bandit camp there. Hang on a second now. Alright, if we're at war with the Western Empire, yeah, I say, we, I say we aim for Poros. I say we aim for Poros. Now getting to Poros is going to be interesting. We can form the army up on me. Najin is right here. We can bring Najin in very easily. I believe he's got a uh, decent number. These guys are fairly close to me. Guzid is close to me as well. Najin, 14 hours, 94. 14 hours. I don't want to have the mercenaries following me around, obviously. They can do what they want. Hmm. These guys are all pretty close. I will want to pick them up before somebody else does. Because, again, I want to be careful about this war. I want to direct this war, right? We could actually push for peace right off the bat. No support. It's the wrong thing to do. It's uh, not in the spirit of uh, of our kind of role play approach of this. Uh, and so I suppose uh, just outside Provend. Rather, let's make it just inside Provend, shall we? We're going to call it a session. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Another sort of change of pace ish. It's it's hard to like. These last handful of sessions have been so varied in terms of the things we've been sort of tackling and the issues we've been trying to deal with, but we obviously keep getting dragged back into wars. The war with Valandia was completely, you know, unwanted, uh, but it came and it was an easy one to win, so we took it on, and now we've got war with the Western Empire. Like, should have known this would happen, should have known this would happen, but, uh, but hey, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? We are going to... Are we... You're going to... Okay, well, I know how to get the map back to us. No, not like that. No, can I go to can I go to Artia here and click on click on track like this, and then and then click on that. That won't take us up there. Wild, wild. I don't like that the map is just not centered. That just bothers me deep deep down inside. 
There we go. It's not clicking on anything now. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, I, <laughs> it is funny to me that it's been C Raider hideouts that for some reason have been uh, have been knocking me down. Uh, but yeah, thinking Poros. Some of you had suggested we take Light Care on from the Asari before they're able to take too much. Uh, but that is not the war that our people wanted, clearly. So it shall be Poros. Peace. Move the garrison from, like, Kasira, Sanala, Askar, Charas, or maybe not Ortizia, but move the, the garrisons from all those territories up to Poros. Strengthen Poros. Try and strengthen Hassan Falcon stuff as well in that same kind of motion. And then declare war on the Kuzate and hopefully see some successes there. That is option A. Option B total war against the Western Empire. Take Lagetta, Zomaris, Zionica, Poros. I think we'll be able to. We'd crush them. We'd give the Kuzate some easy territories to take for themselves as well, either them or the Batanians. Uh, but I think we'd crush them and we'd make some fast progress as well as far as uh, a a attaining our goals is concerned. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do, and how I go about doing it. And again, folks, as I say always, uh, I want to be crystal clear because uh, I always get like concerned about it, but just because I respond to a comment with an explanation doesn't mean that you shouldn't send it my way. Uh, I love those conversations. I love the back and forths that are happening in the uh, comment sections, in the Discord. I read it all. Uh, I take it all in and I try to integrate it or respond to it uh, because at the end of the day, I mean, you know, Sultan Partia is obviously thinking something when he makes those decisions and for me to describe every single thought every single minute would just be ridiculously slow. Uh, it's a habit I've been trying to break anyway of, of explaining everything as I do it. Um, so that's just me explaining my thoughts in hindsight to the questions that come up. Again, I, I just want to make sure that everyone, uh, we're all on the same page there. So do keep those comments coming, folks. I uh, absolutely love the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the way we, uh, the way this story has come together. On the topic of things coming together, I want to say a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who come together on a monthly basis to help keep this channel alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. I bid you farewell.